this video, uh, we're going to look at the practicality of uh, investing in the CMT um, a universal hinge boring machine. Um, uh, take a look at this little video. I'll give you some ideas. Drilling holes for hinges wasn't a terrible job with the drill press. I'd put a fence up on the drill press and put a couple of marks on a piece of, on the fence and a mark on the door where I wanted hinge holes, and then I'd just drill the holes. I still didn't have pilot holes, so then I would use a straight edge against the back of the hinges and drill the pilot holes. That's really all there was to it, uh, to drill for holes. While uh, drilling holes with the drill press in a Forstner bit was easy enough. I didn't have any trouble with that. I still wanted it to be a little easier because I wanted to have uh, not only the hinge cup hole drilled, but I wanted the pilot holes for um, lining up the hinges all in one stroke. And so here's what I did. This is the uh, CMT um, universal drilling jig, a jig for drilling holes in um, doors with the hinge cup holes and the holes for either dowels uh, or pilot holes for screws. And uh, I want to just give you a kind of a, a rundown of what you're getting here when, when you uh, purchase this tool. And it simplifies matters because I just keep this hanging on the wall and then come out here and set it on my drill press and clamp it down and then I can start drilling. The universal drilling jig comes like you see it here, unassembled. The 35 millimeter bit is not installed when you get it. It also has that uh, wooden block on the bottom, uh, about a five by seven. Uh, otherwise, uh, this is a pretty good picture of what you're getting. I replaced this uh, a small wooden block with my own platform, which is uh, 12 and a half inches wide by 34 inches long. But uh, then you have to put the pieces together. And when you do, it's going to look something like this. Well, it's going to look exactly like this. Um, it'll have that 35 millimeter bit, but you still don't have anything to drill the pilot holes to make or to make holes for hinge cups. So you got to buy the bits that are necessary for that. And uh, that's what you see in this image that I've installed the eight millimeter bits. Those are left hand bits and uh, they'll drill for the, the dowels. And then the 35 millimeter bit is in there. And uh, if you don't want to use uh, dowels and you'd rather just use pilot holes, that's what I prefer. Then you would buy these uh, chucks and the two eight uh, the uh, uh, two millimeter left hand bits for drilling pilot holes, and you can see in this image they are already installed, and that's an easy job to do. Then in one stroke you've got the thirty five millimeter hole for the hinge cup, and then the pilot holes for putting on screw on hinges. That's my preference. That's how I like to do it. Now, what I don't recommend. And you can do it. You can use your your uh, handheld drill to drill for these holes. But you can probably see how much pressure I'm having to put to get that uh, bit, and, um, all three of those bits, down into the wood. It works, um, and you'll want your bits to be nice and sharp for doing that. I re so let's get back to the drill press where this thing really shines. Here you'll see I'm getting the a boring jig lined up for the drill press and as soon as I get that done then we can start uh, boring for hinges. Oh wait I gotta clamp the I gotta clamp the uh, the fence uh, the jig down so it doesn't slide around and here I come with my first sample door and I'm going to drill with the pilot holes into the door. Uh, that way I have to use screw on hinges so there's the first uh, um, pass for the first hinge cup, and now we'll do for the other one. And now we're ready to put in our screw on hinges. So I'll grab those and uh, slide them in. And now uh, the pilot holes are already there and all I have to do is screw the hinges on. So that's how it works with the pilot holes. This is my favorite way to do it. 
Now we're going to uh, remove the two millimeter bits that we used for piloting for screw holes um, on our hinges and we're going to replace them with eight millimeter bits that will be used for either doweled hinges or they'll be used for inserted hinges and the inserted hinge is my favorite uh, uh, way to use it if I'm going to do, use the eight millimeter bit. So here we go, we're going to drill our first uh, set of holes and that goes uh, pretty easy and here's the second one and now we can install um, our inserted hinges into these uh, holes. This is a simple job too, uh, they're lined up perfectly. All you have to do is drop the hinge into the holes and uh, snap that little door shut and the insert a hinge is installed perfectly. I re Thanks for uh, watching and I hope you enjoyed the video of CMT's uh, Universal Hinge Boring Jig. If you like the video give us a thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends and subscribe. And if you'd like to uh, leave a comment that would be nice too. Thanks for watching.